hello guys today we are going to discuss one another important and useful topic which every salesforce developers need on daily basis so we are uh, going to talk about delta code deployment so first let's understand what is this delta code deployment uh, let's understand this with a very simple use case assume there are two developers who are working on same piece of apex code in a sandbox for two different defects or it may be two different requirements but both developers are working on same sandbox and same code after a few days uh, code build for the defect number one got completed it got tested thoroughly and now that code is ready for the deployment but at the same time uh, the code for the build code for the defect two is is still in progress and yet to be tested so now my requirement is uh, actually my client wants me to deploy changes related to defect number one into production and exclude whatever changes we have done as part of the defect two. So I need to make sure that I deploy the code which is specific to defect number one and I need to make sure that uh, code which is specific which is related to defect two should not be deployed into production because it may uh, it may impact uh, the real user because the code related to defect number two is is not yet tested and also uh, this is the best use case of using and my using and migration instead of out of the box change set if I use uh, by by using change set I can I cannot tell my system to deploy a portion of apex class and uh, also ask to exclude other part uh, change will change set will deploy my client my class with both defect one and defect two so let's say I have one class and in that class I made some change as part of defect one as well as defect two now I want to deploy deploy defect one into my production so i need to uh, deploy that class into production but i i i want to deploy the code which is specific to defect number one and i want to exclude the other part so that is not possible by using change set in that case i need a uh, another deployment method and aunt migration is is the perfect uh, example of that and and this this use case is quite possible through un migration so for the demo purpose i'll be using two different developer environment but in real use case uh it would be one uat or some sandbox and from that sandbox we would be deploying the delta code into production uh, for the demo purpose, I have already a uh, bit bucket set up in, in my org. Uh, if you want more detail on how to set up bit bucket and all other uh, coding uh, related stuff, you can uh, visit my previous video tutorial where I explained how to set up bit bucket, Maven Smith, uh, and all other stuff. So in that process, so first I'm going to, uh, so I have uh, my source org where I have changes done as part of defect one and defect two. But as I said, defect two is, is not yet completed. There are some changes which is still in progress, but defect one is, 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 is completed. So let me go back to my So for simplicity, I considered only account trigger uh, code where I have some changes. So if you look at this account trigger, this is just a simple piece of code where I have done some changes as part of defect number one. As a best practices, I always put out comment that this is this change is uh, related to some Jira if you're using Jira that you can put out the Jira number if you're using out-of-the-box case object then you can put out the case number 
and then uh, you can start your change and you can end that change with comment that my change is uh, completed so that the other user who are working on the same code uh, can is, is aware of what changes you are doing right so this piece of code is changed as part of defect number one and this this part of code is was already there and there is some changes as part of defect number two which is still in progress so we don't want to deploy this part two into my production org so first what we are going to do is we're going to check in this code into bit bucket so we are going to check in only this part the first part the second part is already there because uh, this is working code in production and these are two new things we are working on so first is ready for deployment the second defect is yet in is is yet to be tested so uh, I have in, in my previous we videos I have explained uh, how to check in my code into bit bucket so I have one beyond compare tool which we use uh, to compare the code which we have in bed bucket and the code which we have in our developer org so if i compare this code with my uh, bit bucket version you will see that this is the new piece piece which these are the two new pieces which is which is yet which are not yet on in, in bit bucket so i need to check in first one as i because i don't want to check I don't want to deploy the second part so what I'm going to do is I I'll it will highlight the beyond compare tool will highlight the code which is different from which is different in your local machine and on the Bitbucket server side but uh, this this beyond compare is very handy tool you can install it you can use it for two three months free of cost and then uh, if you want to renew you you just need to uninstall this and then if you, when you reinstall it will again give you two three months so that is the process but it's very handy tool you can use it to compare your code locally okay so I'm gonna select this and so if you see I have to work with work space this work space is basically uh, the code editor which I'm using so that is nothing but maven smith sublime and maven smith and the second namespace second workspace is, is is basically the code which i have uh, stored locally from bitbucket server so i will save this as soon as i save this i'll go to source tree you will see that source tree will give me a give me a file which i have changed recently okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this file add this and put my comment that due to some uh, if defect one code change to be deployed next week there is no need to put any comment that who because when someone looks into the bitbucket server it will automatically say that that particular user has deployed this code at this particular time okay I will check this box true because I want this to be committed directly This is committed successfully so right now what I'm doing is I'm just committing my code in Bitbucket so now I will go to the Bitbucket server and will verify whether my code is checked in or not so I will go to uh, target repo there are two there are some repos on the Bitbucket server I will check my commits and verify that this commit is already successful 
and also I can verify that if some other user wants to verify what has changed over the time he can also verify that this piece of code just introduced recently okay it got highlighted in green okay so the next step is I I have my code on Bitbucket server so if if I have a separate deployment team then what they can do is they can pull those changes from Bitbucket server to the local machine and then using and they can deploy that changes to the server but I have I'm also uh, playing my role as developer as well as uh, deploy deployment engineer so I have my local Bitbucket version in the system so let me go to the source tree. one minute I need to go to okay so this is my source tree local directory so now if I want to if I want to uh, deploy the chains because I have checked in the I have checked in Delta code only so now if I go to this local file and open this trigger you will see that this trigger has only changes related to defect number one there is no data there is no code related to defect two so I am now good to go ahead and deploy this into production because there is no code in this file related to defect number two and that is what my intention was so I have already my uh, and setup ready so I will go ahead and deploy this directly into production so if you see uh, local repo I have build.xml and build.properties in build.properties I define my username password and in in build build.xml what I'm doing is uh, I'm I'm retrieving the username and password from properties file server URL is also there in properties file and deploy root I'm giving the source folder of the bitbucket repo bitbucket local repo so if you go if you go to one minute one minute if you go back this is my bitbucket URL bitbucket folder and I am uh, giving the path till the source folder and now I'm I'm ready all set and I can just I simply run the undeploy code command as soon as I run this command the Delta code would will be deployed to the production in my case it would be deployed to the target of to verify this I can simply go go to my target oak again if I if I open my account trigger you will notice that the changes related to defect one is is reflected here but there is no changes related to defect two and that is what our goal was okay thank you thank you for watching